So that's in my camera control on the right circle. Um, I got everything else where it usually is. But like, yeah. Did you see me just like flawless almost every boss in the game using a controller? I kind of feel like that should be proof enough that it doesn't matter what you use. Um, did you not know I was using a controller by the fact that I didn't have a cursor? Come on. If you love mouse and keyboard so much, why don't you know that little detail, friendo? Uh, but this one's not part of the streak. Um, but like, why does it feel so weird to aim? Does it ever stop feeling weird, Watchy? Wee. Wind sticks need thumbs. I feel like. Don't you use the the steam controller for this one? I mean, you can reload automatically on this one, just by continuing to shoot or by holding the button. Um, but you know what you can't do is pick this up for a console and know what you're doing. However, I can play on any system I want. And it's all there in my brain, baby, because I got this experience. The right pad to joystick move, not joystick camera. Okay, let me uh, pause it after this one. Doo -doo -doo. The whole debate about uh, mouse and keyboard versus controller for a game like this. Like, I use mouse and keyboard when I play first person uh, games. I use it even when I play over the shoulder third person games. But when I'm playing a top down shooter, twin stick style, that I played since Robotron 64 Days and uh, Smash TV in the arcades. I play the thing that's most familiar. Um, I've been doing this since... I've been using a controller input for twin sticks since I was like four or five years old. So I don't... Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait one... God dang second. There we go. That makes more sense. Um, okay. I don't think there's any truth to the one is better than the other. Controller config, so I do the, what do I do here? Uh, joystick camera. Click that. I put it on joystick move. Like this. Hey, thank you for the follow. Kyle's nicer than I am. I tend to forget human decency things. <laughs> Rufus Rumblers? Nah, man. This is it's a regular. It's a regular brain squad over here. Whoa, it's pointing. Okay, seen this does feel a little bit better actually. Huh. But it seems like it's pointing in a much more digital way now. It's a little less analog, which might actually be helpful. Boop. Boop. Uh, I did have to make... Oh wait, it's not there anymore. So, I'm having some trouble with these buttons too. Like, the A button is so far down. Why that? Why'd they put the A button down in the basement? I mean, I know it's because they made this thing bigger. But can I still... Let me try something. Options. Wait, no, 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 this one. Hmm. 
I love I love that they use an Xbox controller as the picture in there. Yeah, I mean, I so I played the games I played on PC when I was growing up were uh, real-time strategy games, uh, turn-based strategy games, first-person shooters. I'm I'm a little bit older. I'm like 34 years old. Oops. So. Um, there weren't a ton of first-person shooters when I was using PC, and I think they didn't use... I don't know, they were weird. They didn't really know what they were doing. So, I have a lot more history with not this weird, freaky monstrosity of a controller that I kind of like, um, but uh, I have a lot more history with controllers for certain types of games. like. I'm not going to play a platformer with a fucking mouse and keyboard. Uh, and I'm not going to play anything with a mouse and keyboard just to be using a mouse and keyboard. I'm going to play with the thing that feels most comfortable. Because that's, that's how I'm going to enjoy stuff. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, we can argue it. All the live long day, all the live Tyler long day. Hey, I got a question for you, Squatchy. Oh, you're gonna be one of those Fortnite cheaters. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, this guy's cheating at Fortnite. Oh god. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ay 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 ay! Hey, is there a way, Squatchy, to um? It's a quick question. Is there a way to make it so that when I press the left stick in, it has the effect of pressing the left and right stick? Because I kind of want to turn the just left stick thing on for my uh, thing. God, it feels so weird. My thumb is like getting a little s sore from this. Okay, cool. I'll look into that in a segundo. Ooh. Oh god, yeah, my thumb feels weird. It's like kind of cramping up a little bit. Oh man, well, I used my blank, but... Yuck. Huh? Oh, right. Oh boy, it feels weird to not have the button there. He can be, when he wants to be, when he's not being a rude little dick. This is really, I'm not doing a run here, I'm just uh, I'm trying to figure out the steam controller a little better. God, it's so loud. I guess it's probably also because I use I use the uh, the back button. Mm, try to understand. Try to understand. I'll be a magic man. This feels so weird. Yeah, the buttons, I'm just, I, I, I set the, uh, the giant touchpad. I set that to, um, the A button for this game. Nice, how'd it go? Um, you're asking the wrong guy because I have zero traction. Kyle, Roddy, and uh, Absquatula have been hanging out for like a year or more. I mean, I think Kyle's the, the youngest follower of this channel and he has been here for like 14 months. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't know how anybody does it. I think when I ha when I have three people in chat, I feel like I have 
fucking crushed the competition. I feel like this is like a big win. I don't know how I ever got affiliate. My, my, my stream doesn't have, doesn't get views, so you should, I mean, both Squatchlin and Kyle constantly uh, have more viewers than I do, and I don't, I don't know what to do to get more without, like, maybe getting on social media or whatever, which is not something I would do. Basically, I don't like all of the stuff that it takes to, uh, to affect change. I don't know how to change my weapons. Touch D-pad. What? What? I don't know what you're talking about. This? Click action. What? Oh, right. Um, requires click off. Okay. But how do I turn? So I'm on. I'm, I'm on the menu thing. Yeah. It's uh, here. Let me just do this. Maybe you can just see it up top. So. I'm right here, and I want to turn this one into the click action. It's not left stick click, but it's left stick and... Oh, toggle multi-button on. Okay, cool. Um... Why does it have three of them? No. Cool. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hello. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. Well, let me meet your stream. I think I figured out how to do the double thing. I think if I you hit the back button, you can. Just, it'll ask you, do you want to put in another input? It's it's. There's a lot of hidden menus that so, they don't show you on the Steam controller. Well, I did the multi thing. Is the multi thing? It, they're gonna take turns doing one than the other. You can do a cycle formation. Um, like right now, how you're on the the pick which key press you want. If you press the select button or whatever back is, you know, uh -huh. it should ask you to. It'll bring up another menu that lets you go. Like you can turn it into a toggle input you see where it says add uh, activation mm -hmm. up at the top basically hit new button press and then that'll let you assign two button presses to the same thing so double press uh no just, uh, just regular press and then binding oh you're changing the settings you got to under the add activator tab up at the top oh you want to add another regular press to that same oh okay got there it. you go Oh, but I was going to explain, um, joystick camera is kind of like touch and drag. Wherever you touch on the pad initially is considered the dead zone, and then where you drag it from there moves the stick however much accordingly. Got it. Joystick move is like relative mode, where if you touch the top of the pad, that's a, whatever. If it's the very edge, it's 100% up. If it's kind of halfway, it's halfway up. 
So I like that mode for twin stick shooter game. Potato, I have three monitors. I have a big uh, 3840 by 1440 ultra wide. I have a 2840 by 1080 ultra wide up top. And then I have a uh, 1080p monitor. It's like, it's the one that's up in that corner. Uh, on the left, it's also a touch monitor for drawing and stuff like that when I'm doing doodles. Oh, excellent. Um, Hold on, pixels. <laughs> but yeah, I, okay, so I think that works. So now I can go back into the, the actual game. Oops. And it should be good. Controls. So now that, yeah, whenever you press whatever button you assign that to, it should do both actions at okay. the same time. So that should be a left stick. But use, use blank, I want to turn, I want to take off. Fuck, how do I just take it off? Oh shit. Well, now that you've, oh, yeah. Cancel. Let me cancel that real quick. Do you have anything assigned to the grips on the back? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I usually make the uh, the left grip the right stick click, so I don't have to worry about that. Well, I have I have because I have the grips on the um, on that Xbox Elite controller that I usually use. Um, mm -hmm. That has four grips. This one only has the two, so I'm kind of getting mm -hmm. used to it being a little bit more limited, but. Uh, I have what well, I have it cycle through weapons with the left one and then um, activate an item. Either an activate an item or God, what do I use the other one with? I'll have to remember when I'm playing, but I can't can't do it. Player one controller bindings. Okay, so I I wanna just remove this. And I don't know how. Reset the default? No, because that's going to change a lot of other things. Um, rebind it to another one. Like, rebind it to, like, the A button, and then whatever was replaced, go back and resign the A button. That should work. Oh my god, I just... Use blank is just move the left stick downward a little bit. <laughs> okay, and then A button should be interact. Okay. Make sure you remap down, too. All right. <laughs> It'd be real funny. Be like, why can't I move down? I think it's yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that would have been real bad. Okay. I think I'm still gonna have the same problem. The reason that it was a problem is I was accidentally hitting the left stick. Um, and it. I think now that it does both, it, it, I'm hitting it less often with. Just this. Oh my god! I was like, where the fuck is my right stick? That is really, really weird to get used to. Uh, not having a right stick, yeah. Yeah, uh, that setup works pretty good with um, games where you automatically shoot no matter what, kind of like Monolith, where as soon as you touch it, you start shooting in that direction. Mm -hmm. Feels feels a little bit better than uh, the main thing with it, because I, I rarely use the... If it doesn't require the right stick, then I'll use the Steam controller, but if it does, it depends. Yeah. I... I, I just want to practice this I think like I just want to get some practice with the steam controller um, I actually thought that maybe it, oh my god that feels weird uh, it might be better for me to just pick up a new game and use the steam controller for a totally new game that I don't have like years of muscle memory with you know I've been trying to play this game that I'm really really familiar with with a new control scheme because like when I was trying to learn this one with mouse and keyboard uh, it just felt it felt wrong for so long. Oh, you're still in four quadrant mode. Oh yeah, whoops a doodle. Yeah, it takes some. It's it's definitely quirky for uh, a lot of things. Good for some. Like I'll like I don't think I can play Dark Souls without it. There's <laughs> the whole being able to hold down the right grip and that controls the right stick camera. Having access to dodge roll and all that shit is tough. Oh god, dang it. This, I didn't change, I didn't change it to the right one. Hmm. Does the blank still work? Or the way you oh, it? yeah, let me try. Yes. Works perfectly. Oh, uh, I always know what control is that touch D pad thing where it's like, uh, does it require active, or you know what I mean, requires mm -hmm. click. Yeah, I turned that off. 
I find that annoying unless unless you get like a drop of water or sweat on you, then uh, it's <laughs> pretty sensitive to that. It's very, it'll go haywire. In my <laughs> I'll make sure to keep my hands extremely dry at all times. Another thing, if you ever decide to use the gyroscope for anything, if it ever gets unstable, just set it down on the controller for like 10, or on a table for like 10 seconds, and it should uh, like auto recalibrate. Okay. I've had that happen with the GTA, where I would like be whipping it around constantly, and it just wouldn't know what center was anymore. Right. And it would just drift. Like it's like, why is my aiming drifting? And you set it down for a second, and then you do. It feels. I do notice myself getting a little, like, hand cramp, but I think that's mostly just it being something so new. Oh, oh, for sure. The, the placement of everything. Like the buttons. Well, it feels like I'm holding this this fat nub in my hand. Oh my god. Uh, and then. I don't know. Okay, so I need to change that one. Which which button is reload? Uh, by default, I think it's X. Okay, so I need to turn the, that back. No, 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 no. Yeah, I found myself hitting like X. No, I don't want it. I don't want it to be reload. I want it to be. I need to change this all around for this one. Too many bears. So many bears. Reload is X, but change weapon is up. That's what I need it to be. Or left. Okay. I think it's default left and right on the D. Yeah, because so I want it to be left. But wait, how do I... Uh, there's a way to favorite. That's what I want to use. Like favorite gun. Why? Why is what I'm... Why is oh, my... you mean the gun menu? Oh, okay. yeah. You hold it down. Well, if you tap it, it also flops between your two guns. Right, right. So what switched. I want to do is make this be Y. And then this one, I think, be reload. Yeah, that feels a little better. I don't know if uh, Crosshair would help you. No, I've been playing this game for so long without Crosshair, it just it fucking distracts me. Really? Mm hmm. Hey, too many bears. How's it going? This is a Steam, rail Steam controller practice run because I got mine in the mail on the great Steam controller sale off, fire sale. And I got all mine in. Oh, oh you got them in? Nice. I was I was really worried that they might have sold out before you got yours. Um, Demand and refund. Well, they give you, they automatically refund their people. Uh, okay. uh, but they sold out way quick. And I think it, it kind of goes to prove that a, a ton of people would have had this if it wasn't like a $50 purchase, you know. A lot of people would have bought one. If it was... I mean, they sold out so, so quickly. It probably could have sold better if it was thirty or forty. Yeah. I mean, most of it I'm not saying that they're that they charge too much. I'm saying that like, if you want some, if you want people to use something that's weird, you have to. <laughs> Jackie, stop! I'm in the middle of a boss. What's wrong with you? I don't know, man. They're charging a grand for oh, fucking yeah. VR. <laughs> they're not selling a ton of those, so. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, it goes to show. Well, Valve's always been boring when it comes to hardware, so... Do I play other games? I play some Final Fantasy now. We played through every single Dark Souls game. Um, uh, played through... What else we played? A lot of Monster Hunter. We probably will get back into it for Iceborne, maybe. I'm kind of I'm kind of on the fence about it because it feels like it's been so fucking long and it feels kind of like... A little disrespectful that it's just been forgotten for just the delays, man. The delays for the PC players is so weird. Yeah, it is a bit unfortunate that it's uh, stretched out like that. And they've been saying that, like, you know, it was their their greatest selling 
game of all time, and it's the thing that convinced them to make every one of their future games for consoles, but they can't make the games, the content come out more rapidly. So I, I feel like they're just, I don't know, they're losing. I wonder if it's a deal maybe with Sony, because it's not really Sony, it's on the, uh, Xbox. It's yeah, on Xbox. it's coming out same day for Xbox. If it was if it was clearly a, a time exclusivity kind of thing, then I'd be like, that sucks, but I understand it. But it's just, they seem to think that their market is mostly console players. Well, I know when um, Resident Evil came out, like the original one, like, I think Sony straight up went to Capcom and was like, look, your game sells units. Like, we want, you know, this game on our platform. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't surprise me if Sony's kind of got this, like, uh, not so much corporate, but like a dedicated mindset to where they're focused on, you know, console first. And, yeah, they, they kind of need to, like, rise up and, you know, they get on, the, they get on the PC as well. Howdy, y'all. Yeah. Hello. Hey, howdy, potato. How's it going? Hey. You guys hear about the Exit the Gun game? Yeah, mm -hmm. I played it for a little bit on the stream here. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit, um, a little confused about how you're supposed to get that game when it's supposed to be for the Apple streaming <laughs> game service, but... It's not out. It's on. It's on. X, it's on the Apple. I played it on my Apple TV for a little while. I don't even know how Apple Arcade works as far as what devices you can play on. Yeah, you can play on on Apple TV, phones, uh, MacBooks, Mac computers. Get it for Windows? Nope. Aw. Yeah. It's a good game. It's just fucking. It's just a. Uh, it's a shame that it's on an exclusive platform right now. Is it really short? I mean, I beat it in my, my like, third playthrough. But it looks like there's a lot of additional content. Um, I, I mean, I'm going to buy it when it comes up on PC no matter what. I'm going to support Dodge Roll under any circumstance, but... Uh. Right now? No, not really, not really at the moment wanting to. I actually was just going to do the one Gungeon thing, but I wanted to test out this, uh, get this controller stuff figured out while I had Squatchy on the on the line here. Yeah, because I've, I've been using the Steam controller for quite some time, so yeah. I've had a lot of play experience with the weird weirdness that it is. Yeah. I can't do it with the controller. It's like, it really stinks because when you play any console game, it's like, move, move, control. <laughs> It's bad when a game doesn't have like a support or at least a functional like key binding for both controller and like you know like when a mobile game is like ported to PC, it's all like point and click touch controls. They don't map any like shit like that. Is yeah, I wish they would make it a little bit better. What's what's real bad I think is that Gungeon doesn't even have like you can't play two keyboards on Gungeon. You have to have at least one controller for it to pull up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Cause, um, well that's funny cause like, uh, that Model 2 emulator that I used to play Daytona USA, uh, it has a support two mice option so you can play light gun games with a friend. Oh, that's really smart. With two mice, so like, you think some more games would take advantage of shit like that. Yeah. Uh, I have played a little bit of Moonlighters, uh, or Moonlighter, um, too many bears. Um, I really got into it for a little while and then just... Kind of most games that I've been playing recently, I just haven't stuck with. I, I don't Moonlighter know. Sounds familiar. You play, you play a shopkeeper, and you fight in dungeons to. Oh man, I don't. It sounds like a Reseteer. Yeah. Is a completely other game. Yeah. Uh, when I was playing it, uh, Roddy was he was like freaking out about how good Reseteer is. Uh, I think I have it on my wish list or something. But yeah, it's a similar thing. You have a shop, you have to figure out how to price stuff. Um, and you basically farm for things to sell to upgrade the town and all of that. It looks very Zelda-y. It's a, it's a fun game. I just, I have, you know, such a short attention span for non-Gungeon games. Fair. Yeah, and the fucking Humble Bundle just dumping off a load of fucking games every month. Well, I'm pretty sure that's where I got Moonlighter. I, th I think there was... Yeah. <laughs> uh, that dungeon, like, 
two weeks ago. I've been like utterly enamored with him. Ain't it great, man? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like <laughs> my friend had a bicycle before, and I was like, mm, that's kind of good, but I don't really like that. You know, it's like, you know, you know the, like the aesthetic. Style. Yeah, it, it bothers a lot of people. I played the shit out of Isaac. I have over a thousand hours in Isaac as well. But, uh, all the simple faces drawn on everything. <laughs> For me, that, it's just, it's not. Yeah, I like all the references to like, everything. The little, all the gun puns. Like, I like the, you know, they got this shadow clone. Like. There's so many good references in the game, it's just, it's amazing. It's, it's a shame that it's like 20% Metal Gear references, but like, <laughs> I'm okay with that as a fan. But like, <laughs> there's like, there's references to like, Dead Space, and Doom, and Meat Boy, and like, all this crazy shit, it's just like, what? It's so good. Yeah, I, I don't know, I, I've been playing, this game came out, it, it's release date's on my birthday, so I kind of had to get it when I first saw the trailer, and then I've been playing it since since release three years ago, three and a half years ago. Oh. <laughs> Doing one of those like stay up a little bit later each day to hopefully reset the groove. Wrap around the other um, way. Whenever I do that kind of stuff, I, I just go all the way to like, like, like 12 hours of sleep. <laughs> That's what I do. Oh, With I can't. Saturday. I can't do it that way. I have to. I end up having to like force myself through an entire day. I, I have to wrap around back the other way. Like if I. Like, last night I fell asleep at 6 o'clock, so tomorrow I have the day off, so I'm probably going to just try to stay up all the way through. Do you still double on the weekend, Rufus? Yeah, all, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Oh, two days of doubles? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's I have, I have like, the ideal schedule a person can have working as a bartender. I work all weekend long, so I make as much money it as a person. It is money shift. Yeah. You're not wrong on that. I've worked really hard to get this schedule, but it's it's exhausting. We let him have the whole weekend because he likes getting his ass beat, but he can also take it, so it's okay. Well, I also got I only got this because I ended up getting lead position, so I'm like the head bartender. Yeah, and I get three days off this way. I don't know. I I, I can work four days instead of five. I get three days off in a row. Uh, I was just gonna say because you said you got the best of both worlds. I'm like, I don't know, is it four tens? But if, if that's if you still got four days, that's actually still pretty damn good. Yeah, I have. I work about 36 hours. They don't allow you to work 40 because it's too close to overtime. Uh, but yeah, but uh, yeah, having having those those six shifts across the entire weekend is just fucking ideal. I wouldn't change it for the world. Well, it's a damage per second cap, so... Uh, yeah, so if you have slower weapons, you actually will never hit the cap. Um, a lot of You'll watch like speedrunners and stuff hold off on shooting, because if you do just a bunch of spaced out big shots, you can go over the cap. Um, uh, yeah, you're right. If you pummel on heavy shots they'll cap it real quick yeah that's why a lot of times if you even if you're you have strong uh really fast weapons they're not as useful as slower more powerful ones like the heroin is really good against bosses because the time it takes to charge it mm. gives you another big shot um for yari launcher because that's hell yeah well y yari launcher breaks a dps cap yari launcher and makeshift cannon are the only two weapons that don't have any respect for the DPS cap? Oh yeah, uh, I saw that. I saw a run where somebody duct taped make make a uh, makeshift cannon to something else, and it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so it good. Two shot done. The uh, the other cool thing is um, 
Gondromeda Strain. So the DPS cap is there no matter what your damage output is. So it's actually, like, you can get a ton of damage that can actually still hit the same speed for for firing. But if you have Gondromeda Strain, it just knocks 25% off of everybody's health. So the DPS cap doesn't matter as much. It's pretty, it's more useful than damage buffs. Oh, yeah, it it's the most useful, drop. yeah, it's the most useful damage increase in the game, basically. Just weakening everybody else instead of boosting yourself. And I never take Gundrom on a string because I'm an idiot. Hmm. Like, I'll do rainbow runs, it'll show up, and I'm just like, ooh, but everything else. <laughs> yeah, I just got it from here. Oh, that's what you got from the boss. I was gonna say. Does, so, I was playing earlier today, surprisingly, for whatever god of reason. <laughs> um, but I got the uh, Yari launcher on like, the second floor, and I used it against the old king, and it. I had to use the entire weapon and more. So yeah. I don't know if it... The Yari launcher... Yeah, yeah, the Yari launcher is not super powerful if you don't have uh, damage increases or, like, double vision or healing okay, shot or something so like that. Yeah. Y Yari launcher by itself is not really outstanding. It's it's good because it base breaks the DPS cap, so you can shoot a big shot and then use the Yari launcher, but uh, even still, it's not as good as other weapons. Um, but if you have double vision or anything that puts you your damage above hitting the threshold, then it's better than other weapons. Yeah, even like a ten percent like uh, bonus is going to make it do more. Damage. Yeah, you get broccoli or something like that, or something that makes you fire faster, or you get more ammo with it or whatever. There's there's lots of ways to still make Yari launcher very very good, but just straight out of the box, it's not incredible. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. I was really surprised by that because. Uh... Yeah, like I ended up using all the ammo on him and it brought him down to maybe like a fifth of his health left and yeah. I was like he should be dead by now but I guess not yeah I think a lot of people think that it's just it's like a broken instant kill but ooh speaking of double vision there you go That's man stuff. oh wait makeshift <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was just thinking ooh. about it. I'm not even recording this one for YouTube because I was just trying out the camera or the, uh, the controller I should have I guess I could highlight it but I don't know. I don't usually play I still can't believe that. Uh, the... You ever do that thing with the cigarettes? Mm -hmm. The um, time crisis stone. Yeah, you, you just get hit. Yep. Wait. Yeah, the use the crate. Oh no way! That the, is yeah, the crisis crazy. stone is not just a bullet shield. It's actually it blocks you from any damage. So. So you can smoke during the reload. <laughs> yeah, you just find something that you only need to shoot once to reload. Shoot and then smoke, and you can uh, reload forever or uh, cigarette forever. That's crazy. Yeah, I think it should. It just it might take a little longer because you gotta shoot through the whole clip. But yeah, that's, that's fucking cool. I didn't know that. It's, it's not a it's not a chest drop. It's just a um, any any item drop, I think. Could be ammo. Could be chest. Well, not ammo. Ammo is tied to curse, but it can be like a key, a heart, a chest, okay. or extra money, like a five cent money or whatever. That's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, so I, was, I was thinking about that. I'm like, so you could just go into a room, clear it, let's, and it does reset every time you get like a chest. Mm -hmm. What's the chest specifically? The the chance slightly increases yeah every time you get one or slightly decreases. Oh man, that's freaking Yeah, that's perfect. There are lots of little little cheats and hacks. Like I on my last run I got one that I saw for the first time where if you have uh, there's a synergy called unbelievably charming where if you're using the um, the charm bow, it automatically charms everything. And if you, oh God. Uh, yeah. So, if you shoot the charm bow at all, it's a guaranteed, it's a guaranteed charm. But on top of that, I had bees, and bees get your modifier. So bees were going around and instantly charming everything. So just walking around the room holding the charge for the bow was charming oh, yeah. every enemy, without me even shooting a bullet. Like, that's pretty good. 
That's why I love bees, especially if you got charge weapons, because you can just take out like the little peon with that yeah. weapon and get them. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I kind of liked that this game, like before, they were really resistant to breaks like that. Uh, when the game first came out, it was so much rougher when it first came out. Yeah, Ammo was, was super rare. Things. Yeah, but uh, and there was any time they found a, a break or an exploit like that, they like fixed it. They patched it out, and then they kind of just said, "Well, okay, under certain circumstances, we're just going to leave it in so that people can have fun breaking the game every once in a while." Oops. I still wish there was a sandbox mode. Somebody said that, you know, if, if your character, if your potential, if your game has the potential to make your character unbelievably powerful, like, this thing can be powerful, so do you think there should be a damage cap? A lot of people don't like the DPS cap. I think that the DPS cap in this game is extremely fair. Um, it's way more fair than, like, the super armor that bosses have in Isaac and things like that, where there's no way to do over a certain amount of damage. Like, uh, I know that Super Armor too. Yeah, Super Armor and Isaac is like, it's it's a fun limiter in a game that's all about becoming broken, you know? Um, but I think this one is, is extremely fair, and if you just play the game... Oh my god, I'm, I'm realizing it. I think every once in a while it's actually totally okay to have a run, a run where skill is not yeah, even a factor. If you if you just make it so that, you know, half your runs, well, you can just get a bunch of damage ups and you're done in about five seconds. Yeah, you don't want it to be like that, but I, I think it's totally fine for a game to occasionally right. have like fallen into a path. Yeah. Or even just the black hole gun and strategic. <laughs> yeah. Enter the room with a charged weapon and... You make that judgment call, do I shoot it or just clear it with a regular gun? Like, I had that on an earlier run today, and then I got homing bullets, and my black hole was just chasing everything. Like, <laughs> it's odd. It, like, it started chasing the boss around the room. I'm like, this is good and bad. But... You can't shoot it. You can't get anything without getting on the other side of the enemy. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I had the flash ray, so luckily that was... Those were just going straight. Oh, yeah. I didn't affect it by that. But even still, like, yeah, for the most part, you, pull it, you just got to black hole do its thing. I don't know. I, I think they just they balance this game extremely, extremely well for it to be fun and still challenging for people who don't know these exploits and stuff. Yeah, I, I think that too. I think it's a, a good... Plus, if you... I think with all the synergies too, I think that really helps. Like, if you get two synergies that are remotely good, you're just like... You've got some really nice tricks up your sleeve for future stuff. I'll do it with the cannon. Get a wreck. Wait, I gotta, I gotta use the. I have to remember. I have to use the uh, double vision first. Oh my god, these guys are gonna fucking die. I guess so scared for some. <laughs> <laughs> like I just walk in and took a, took a shot to the face because I didn't want to miss that shot. <laughs> choo choo. Ah, uh, this is. I, I'm confusing myself so much trying to use this fucking controller right now. Like, almost shooting the wrong bullet over and over. Oh, wait! I have infinite... Oh my god, I just realized I have infinite... Oh, the holy grail. Yeah, I have infinite can oh, uh, <laughs> makeshift cannon shots. Ow. I have the holy every grail. Get, yeah, every time you get hit, you get 50% of your ammo back, and so single... Yeah. Yo, it's a broken item. It's, I forget what the curse is on it, but it's... Uh... Just one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, really? it's just like one, something. yeah. Because yeah, that's a like with the fucking, you can literally go in guns blazing like with the strongest weapon you got, like ten shots or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, I got hit. Half my ammo is restored. Yeah, if you're not trying to flawless, then you can very easily get through any fight with a with a makeshift cannon. A, I wish it had a curse actually. Because like finish gun is like five curse. They're like. I mean, you have to you have to beat the rat for it to be unlocked. Like it's it's okay. it's a late game challenge. It's one of those things that they're they're kind of saying you put in the work. So yeah, you earn the hand cannon. So. Yeah. And the rat fights. Ooh, no baby, holy shit! Hyper light blaster is good. Ooh. Speaking of that, we gotta check the game store. Game. 
killer. All right, man. Well, hey, potato. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you dude. Man, I just got the rat boots from a blue chest. Very strange. I still yeah. can't believe you got three on gun night pieces on one fucking floor. Yep. Like, I just how? Uh, that's, oh. not, that's not the first time. I've gotten three gun night really? pieces on the second floor and never got a fourth piece. How does that happen? Uh, the game doesn't want you. Like, it just doesn't want me to. Access that. Like well, I, I've been. I know Dodger, Dodger will look specifically at your playbook. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Well, fuck this guy. Yeah. <laughs> fuck him in particular. Um. I don't know. I, I really don't understand. Uh, I was talking to uh, Black Flag, Corey. He he says he got it twice. Uh, the first time it was on a, a clone run, which is understandable because you have much more opportunity for it to happen. But uh, the second time he got it, like first room he got or first floor he got two of them. Next war, he got two more. I'm just like, cool, man. I spent an entire month specifically chasing it, like, never gun forcing, buying any piece of uh, gun knight armor that showed up, like, saving all my money, basically passing up on gun after gun after gun after gun. Uh, I never got. I got three, three times, I think, during that month. But. It's a good thing there's no achievement for that, because nobody would have it. Yeah, that'd be... That would just piss people off, I feel. Yeah. Those are the kind of achievements where it's like... Uh, like Especially since it's so chance-based. Yeah, I, I mean, I have 1,600 hours. If you can't get it naturally in 1,600 hours, then you can't really get it by... I don't know. But there's I, always those posts on the dungeon somewhere that they're like, I played 200 hours, and this is my first rainbow chest, doop doop doop. And some people just have that bad luck. And, well, I don't know. there's actually, I, I'm pretty sure that it was said by the devs that you're more likely to get a rainbow chest the earlier you are in the game. They, It's one of those things where like, it, it, it actually has a very, very low chance, but the chance increases over time. Um, like without you having it and then once you get it the first time it decreases the likelihood of it showing up and never it's 0.008% I think or 0.08% chance of it showing up but that increases until you get it the first time and then it never increases again after that so. and that's not tied to the one stat where it's like Mo uh, uh, Magnificence Magnificence yeah no Magnificence is Per, that's just chest quality. Yeah, that's per run. Well, it's not chest quality, it's item quality. So, oh, okay. Well, it, it's kind of both. So, Magnificence, if you get an A or S tier weapon, that number increases and it decreases the likelihood of a, a red or black chest showing up. You can still get A or S tier weapons from boss clearing or from shops, but I think it just decreases the likelihood of red or black chests from showing up, if I understand it correctly. I mean, that makes sense, so it, like, it, it just prevents you from getting too many good chests in a row. Right, unless you like, get that's, the 7 that's month clover. To, uh, that's not tied to the rainbow chests or anything. No, I don't think so. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. My uh, my third run on the Switch, I got a rainbow chest. So, Ooh. And I think I started a new save file and got a rainbow chest on one of my you know, first 10 runs. So it, it, you definitely have a higher chance of that happening early on. I remember getting a rainbow run or a rainbow chest on a rainbow run. That was kind of nice. Oh, it had more than one item in it. Oh yeah, it let me take all eight of them. Weird. Yeah, because if you get a rainbow chest on a rainbow run, he says, "Well, only rainbows are allowed." So, okay, there you go. Yeah. Hit a like three. Take the whole thing. I really thought about that. Yeah, it happened one time. I got real lucky. For I actually have a run. I need to pick this up because I want to see the fucking synergies I've got. Oh, you're, you're, you you're know, whoa! <laughs> Your little icon just popped up in the corner. It never, oh, because the controller automatically turns on big, big picture mode, doesn't it? Right, yeah, it does. I hate the controller. The damage on this thing. I think the fact that you can uh, turn your computer off in big picture mode is kind of stupid. What? Why would you want that? 
Well, like under the shutdown setting, there's like, uh, it, it's, it's like exit big. Let me see what it says. Cause it's really dumb. Oh, it's probably because they expected people to hook their. They thought it was gonna. They were gonna sell those Steam boxes or whatever, where you hook your PC directly yep. to your living room TV. So you've got minimize big picture, exit big picture, exit Steam, log out user, turn off controller, restart system, suspend system, turn off system. So yeah, you can do all of those things. Oh my god, I'm like so unsure of how to fucking do anything <laughs> with this now. All right, the controller's. Definitely a weird one. Now, I had a, for some reason I booted up save slot B, and this was like, fuck it, new game, I don't care. And I had a run going that was like super mega OP, and I'm like, I gotta save this for later for some reason. And, and now I don't even know what I've got. <laughs> Oh, that's right. First floor, I got jumping. And the reload stone. Jesus Christ. Just junkin', I'd be like... Wind-up gun, wonderbuss, ditching trigger finger, an oiled cylinder. So, yeah, that's... Oh, there's a synergy with the wind-up gun, too, apparently. Yeah, it makes it so... I think you got the one where it doesn't decrease after 50% of its shots go off. Yeah, I think you're right. It's with the uh, oil cylinder. And the wind-up gun is actually fucking incredible. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, that reload time is real quick. I think some of this stuff is still... Some of this stuff is still not right, but that's all right. Yeah, this first floor is fucking... First floor jumping, that's crazy. It might have been good, maybe, but either way. I was so mad I had a pretty much flawless rest today when I was playing on the rainbow run. <sighs> Got to the end of the second floor and I'm just like, right, yeah, I did everything here, let's go to the go to the abbey and see what's there and then oh I have all this money I didn't buy the rack key. Gosh, <laughs> shit. damn it. And then proceeded to flawless pretty much all the way up to uh, the dragon. And then my boss is like, I'll be down in 20 minutes and I'm like, I'll finish this. So I just chug through it and grind through the fifth floor and just beat the game just for the hell of it. <laughs> I was like, ah, whatever. It's a decent run too. I just don't remember some of the shit I had. God, this feels so fucking weird. Oh, there's, um... You can turn on a vibration. I don't know if it vibrates whenever you uh, touch the pad to aim. Yeah, the haptic. Like, I have that. Uh, yeah. I, so I, I like want, that. If you, want, if you want any rumble feature at all in the game, you have to turn it on, like, I think manually per game. You okay. You have to do it in big picture mode. It's this, this is all right without it, honestly. Like. Oh, yeah. I turn I turn the screen shake all the way off and I turn the rumble super low in this game because they over and all Devolver digital games fucking overemphasize the rumble to the billionth degree. It's like it's so ridiculous. Uh, screen shake and rumble are just like fucking gross on Devolver games. I hate screen shake in general on like everything. Screen shake is like motion blur. Like I don't want it to be harder to see what's going on in a game that I'm playing. In a game that requires you to dodge bullets. Yeah. <laughs> Little box that are flying at you. I don't need them whipping all over the screen. I get it. I mean, it's a really cool stylistic effect, but when you're not playing a game for the way that it looks, you're playing it for trying to beat it. Like, some stuff you just gotta turn off. Yeah, but Rufus, why can't you beat this game during an earthquake? Come on. <laughs> hey, I finished one of my hunts. Why am I still doing this run? Why? Oh, why? Oh, broccoli! Don't have enough for it. That kind of sucks. Oh, I just accidentally... Oh, boy. That's that's a little rough. Who did you buy? I don't know. I, I accidentally... Ammo. Okay. I ac yeah, I definitely don't need ammo with the fucking... Um... Holy grail. Yeah. Oh, lord. Well, that's six curse. 
But yeah, I have it so that pressing the um, pressing the directional pad and will uh, work as an interact. But I forgot that the, the directional, or the, not the directional pad, but you know that right mouse pad, track pad, uh, yeah. or whatever. It, because uh, the A button is too far away. <laughs> it's like way too far away for me to flip a table. That was the first. Uh, that was the first thing it took for me to get used to is the position of the A button being at the way bottom. <sighs> if every game feels like you're playing Katamari, like you know how like the Sony PlayStation sticks are where our mm -hmm. main functions are. That's what it feels like. Um, yeah. Da 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 da. <laughs> that would have Katamari stuck in there. Dude, cat. Yeah, Katamari, uh, Jackie got Katamari re-rolled for the Switch. She says uh, Katamari is one of her favorite games of all time, and I watch her play through most of most of re-rolled. It's, it's a great game. Yeah. I've never played it. It's so silly. Even just watching it's just as good. It's yeah. so silly and weird and, like, it's one of those games that's like, here, here you go. And every every direction you look, it's like, dude, can I do that? Can I do that? Can I do that? And then you just go and you just do it. It's fun. Yeah. It's so fun. I mean, all of uh, that guy's game, God, I can't remember his name, all of his games are just like open-ended nonsense things. Noby Noby Boy was like that. He's got a new one coming out. Uh, Yacht Tom or something like that. Yeah, I saw that on, um, the, it was, it was on the Epic Games Store, unfortunately. Oh. Well, I know, no, it's, it's a PlayStation exclusive to start. Uh, I think it's going to come to PC afterwards, but it's a PlayStation, PlayStation exclusive. Time I see. I didn't see it on Steam. I just saw it on Epic. I didn't know it was console. Oh, is it going to be on Epic too? Oh. I think it's on Epic. Okay. Well, the the I think the guy has a long-standing partnership with Sony, so usually his stuff comes out on PlayStation. Yeah, November 11th, December 17th. Special pricing available. Oh, it's pre-purchase. Wait. What? That's pretty fucking soon. Oh, December eleventh? Oh, December seventeenth. Okay, so it's on. It's like ten percent before. Uh, it's seventeen bucks instead of probably twenty. Let me check and see if it's right. Oh, so if you want to, so like for the rumble with the controller, if you decide to use it. You have to open big picture mode, go to your library, find the game, click it, it'll, you'll see on the side it says manage games, and then under there it says controller options, and there's a experimental rumble emulation. See, I have that turned on for everything. Um, oh, then you're fine. Yeah, but if it's not showing up, most of the time I'm not going to notice, unless it's a game that really relies on that feature, which is not, it's not something I, I need. So we're going to do something done here. There's a... Low, medium, low, default, medium, high, high, extra, high, and then 8 bit. And so, as you know, the Steam controller can make music through its haptic feedback. Mm -hmm. um, if you put the rumble on 8 bit, basically it goes. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it ramps up and down. Like, accelerating in a car in GTA is the funniest fucking thing with that turned on. It's, uh, it's annoying as sin, but it's really funny just to try it. Kyle, he says he can barely hear you. I probably have the sound turn really low for the uh, the headphones, just because uh, everybody comes in pretty loud on Discord. But uh, I might. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> I might change that. <laughs> wait, what do I? Oh, wait. Let me try that. Can you hear me? Oh, I know why. Turn the overall volume down. Wait, say something. Testing one, two, banana smoothie, fudge knuckles. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Who's calling me? That's probably a little better. Who's calling me? Uh, uh, Sam. The president. He's like, Are you a bad enough dude to save your girlfriend or whatever? Oh, I'm Ronald Reagan. I told Sam uh, and Fernando, mm -hmm. but um, I'm lurking in here. He'll probably hop in. All right. He always calls me when he's bored. A ruby bracelet. Why am I 
still playing with it. I guess I'm going to probably highlight this one on Twitch and send it over. I didn't plan yeah, on one. Didn't plan on it. No issue with me popping in here being bored? No, none at all. What you up to, dude? Uh, well, I was bored and my shoulders hurt, so I smoked more. There you go. And uh, now my shoulders don't hurt, but I'm still bored. <laughs> the pinner is like a Pennsylvania thing. No, a pinner is a real thin, skinny joint. Because it is legal in Canada. You're one of them Canadians. I, uh, it's also legal where I live because I live in Washington State. And pretty fucking soon, it's just going to have to be legal. Country, how how many stupid states are going to just sit there and be broke while the other states are rolling in weed money? Like, oh, legitimately, like, it's so dumb. Since it's been legalized, everybody is just rolling in that cash. Yeah, like uh, Washington State, where I live, has the has had weed legal the longest, and they have like they've made like two or three billion dollars just taxing weed. It's it's just free money. I just... <laughs> like, you may as well just have your own at that point. I'm just thinking of that gif of uh, Miyamoto and uh, Gunpei Yakuza. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I think it was actually Satora, Iwata, and, and yeah. Shiggy. And they're, like, like opening yeah, their mouth like, funny. like uh, Canadians in South Park. <laughs> yeah. That's a two-frame gif. Yeah. And then the fucking Wii. It's still Prince Bunny. <laughs> they used to, like, not... They used to not be able to, uh... Make a system that... Well, I guess the GameCube didn't do super well. No, no it didn't, GameCube unfortunately. Because it the whole thing with that is, like... They were never the ones to go, Oh, we need to have the best graphics and all that. Sure, they were in the Fit War for a bit. Uh, pun intended. Yeah. Nah. But when GameCube Day came out, they were like, oh, let's try to use top of the line, best mechanics, best everything we can. But that one crashed. And it burned hard. Apparently, like, sales were just atrocious. Oh, I, I heard it was uh, because of the rampant piracy that really ruined the, uh... Really? The GameCube, yeah. That, it didn't ruin it as bad as the Dreamcast was ruined, but piracy kind of fucked it. Um, yeah, seriously. Well, I know those little discs were trying to help with piracy, but it didn't make a difference, unfortunately. Yeah, because yeah, people would just either straight up cut CDs or just buy smaller discs and burn them. Oh, yeah, they get the smaller burners. Or, uh... Oh, God. Hit me! Why will this fucking coward hit me? I need ammo! Why can't... <laughs> there we go. But I don't know how to switch restrictions on uh, file size, so, like, some games, like, RE2 had to be two discs and all that nonsense. I don't remember that. Yeah, RE2 was, or not RE2, uh, Resident Evil 4 was two discs, whereas like the PlayStation version and the Wii version are all one disc. I forget how much space and, uh, they lost by using the mini discs, but yeah, it was, it was neat. This fucking cowardly lich refuses to hit me. <laughs> oh boy, I don't want this one to hit me. I need to just get my, wait, I do need it to hit me. Oh, I might have my first life. Yeah, that's fine. We'll push over. I got the I got the uh, finished gun, which is why he's jammed. Which means I don't really have anything to worry about on this fight. That's the thing. I saw you had the finished gun. I was like, what is Rufus doing? Yeah. I thought he didn't like that one. I don't usually use it, but this this was not actually a run that I was going to do. This is me trying to practice using this uh, steam controller that I just got. So that's the only reason. I'm Playing through this room, that thing. Yeah. Oh man, it's got the stage in Like cycling, where you can one button press and it'll cycle to another one. And no, 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 no. if you light press with your hard press, they do. On the triggers, it does. Yeah. They, uh. I think since the PS2, they've done that whole, uh, what you call it? Analog triggers? Analog button, uh, button faces. Oh yeah, like yeah. Your solid, like you could uh, fucking lightly put, let go of the button to not shoot your gun, or quick release it to shoot it, shit like that. Yeah. 
Squatch, are you gonna stream? You gonna stream? I'm ready to stop streaming. I'm so sleepy. Yeah, I was thinking about streaming some forest tonight. Why don't you play some this gungeon that you're currently playing? Hey! <laughs> Almost got you. Well, I'm doing the single player, like, 100 day thing. Like, we'd have to start a whole new game and all that. Wait, I could do this. I forgot. 